The electoral debacle of 2010 opened the door to the greatest onslaught against the working middle class since the robber barons of two centuries ago. Ironically enough, this assault began in Madison, Wisconsin, birthplace of AFSCME. In debt to the corporate interests that funded his campaign, Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker said it was all about the state budget. It was about destroying unions, safeguarding corporate power. But make no mistake, it's a national fight. We cannot forget what's happening here in Washington. The House of Representatives passed the, ho oh, oh, the Paul Ryan budget. Oh, he deserves a little more than that guy. This would gut Medicare and a host of programs that the working people rely on in good times and bad. They did this in order to finance more tax breaks for the wealthiest members of our society. Together, with one voice, we are fighting Paul Ryan and the House leadership's <laughs> reckless budget and saying this will not stand, this will not pass, Brother Ryan. What we saw in Madison earlier this spring was a turning of the tide. We saw our members create a, a Main Street movement, an energized coalition determined to pull together to fight back. It was a new coalition of workers, students, clergy, small business owners coming together to say enough is enough. The Main Street movement knows that if we lose, the American dream dies, replaced by a national nightmare in which only a chosen few survive. And as we march toward November 2012, I want to be very clear about where our national unions stand. I don't care whether you're a Republican or a Democrat. I don't care if your name's Scott Walker or Andrew Cuomo. If you stand in the way of the Main Street movement, if you try and privatize prisons and push to scale back retirement security, if you cut taxes for millionaires and create corporate tax loopholes, we will not be silent and we will fight for workers' rights for as long as it takes to win.